What's up, you guys? Ooh. You got some nice earrings here. I mean, you know how long it's been that I've seen a cow? I don't even know if it's a cow or... I mean, I'm not from Texas, I'm from LA, but makes me smile already to see animals. Uh, you let me touch you? How about you? Uh, not really, huh? What's up, buddy? I have no food for you. Licky, licky my shoe. Man, they're like massive, huh? Can you make some noise? Can you make any noise? <laughs> Those are little Schwebergärten, like a garden for people that are renting the places. Krefelder Golf Club here in Lynn, and believe it or not, when I was in school and we had school vacation six weeks, I used to work at the golf club as a caddy, and I was making good money. See, now you're lucky you get all the cards here. When I was here, I had to actually carry the bags on my bag. Look at this, I'm doing my videos and mom is taking pictures of nice flowers. She loves flowers. Everything is so old in this town here. Even the street signs are written in old English. I love that style. Mom, what kind of flower is that? This is uh, Akalai. And if you don't know, now you know, Akalai. Lynn is a part of Krefeld, it's a really old town. And if I show you the video, you would say, people really live like this? It's not all over Germany, it's because this city is really old and the people that left everything the way it is. So it's actually pretty cool. You hear all the birds and how clear the water is? You could film Jurassic Park 4 here. It's like a jungle or a Rambo or any of those movies. Margaretenstraße and Kurkölner Straße. Historischer Stadtkern von Linn. And that's where we are. This is Krefeld's flag. Look at those old houses. I love it. This is the original city wall all around Linn. And look how thick the wall is on the bottom and how thin they're going to be on top. And if you ever want to come and visit Linn, it's really hard to find parking. You have to have like a permit to park inside the city. You normally have to park outside where we just parked. There's plenty of parking on the side, but you cannot drive your car in and park in here. It's really hard. See, residence with permit. Welcome to Brooklyn. That's right. We are in Krefeld. There's the Brooklyn in the background. I grew up here when I was a kid. I'm running around. We had dogs. We were playing here. So today we're going to go on top of this little castle and I show you around. What do you say, mom? It's very nice here. <laughs> very, very nice. Very nice. She loves I'll, coming here. Yes. She I'll, likes to walk around here. Yes. It looks really nice in the winter time too. If everything is really white, it looks nice. It's not only the castle that's amazing. Look at this tree here. Unbelievable. I can only recommend if you're in the Krefeld area, you should visit the Burg Linn. Around 1188, they built this castle and it's a man-made hill. They call it Waterburg because it's been built on a hill and around it, they have some water. We're gonna check it out in a minute. Look at all the shelf around it. Hear the frogs? All those old buildings surrounding the castle. This is a schloss they call it where all the hunting stuff took place. They have all the trophies inside. Look at the little dogs. Here the water is not as clear. It's kind of greenish. Right, look, mom looks good with the red pants and the blue. She actually thought we we're gonna go on a cruise today. That's why she's wearing the shirt with all the anchors on it. <laughs> this is the entrance to the castle. And when I was a kid, I remember it being so big, but it looks like you can actually jump from one side to the other. And in between, I always gonna take a picture of my model.
See the concrete cannonballs sticking in the walls? We're entering the castle. Well, you gotta wear a mask though. Mom, you're ready to explore. She's been here so many times. But this is the entrance here. Whoa, look at this. Those are the walls around it. And you see those holes in between. That's where they were shooting through. In 1150, it looked like this. 1210. Bigger and bigger, around 1500. Here you can see there was a wall all the way around it with some water. And this is the castle. Like I told you before, I grew up here. I've been in here so many times. This is where they're doing their barbecue. Look at all this original old stuff. Thousands and thousands of years old. So I am in the middle of the castle right now. And from what I heard, there was only 20 people living in this castle. But if there was like a war or if people were afraid that the enemy came, all the people from the city came in here, probably standing right here where we're standing right now, to be protected by the water and by the walls around the city. Is that right, mom? Let's check it out, mom. This is the way to the toilets. That's where they had their toilets back there. Look at all those old staircases. Really small, everything in there. Look at those old doors. See, that could have seen Harry Potter here as well. Dumbledore. I really don't know what's all this for. This is the wood you push down so nobody can come in here. See, that wasn't really too much space for a lot of people. Look at all those old carpets. This is what they were wearing. Original armor. Well, I guess this is a replica. Do not touch. Kind Sutra. This is probably the master bedroom for the king and the queen. You can't really see through those little holes. Look at those shoes. We're here looking at this stuff, but people were actually wearing stuff like this a few thousand years ago. Shooting the cannons through those little slits in the wall. And here you can see, just imagine going back in time. They did have a really nice handwriting. Wow, oh, can't even read this. That's how small it is. One of those cannons they had. Look, this will be G.I.V. with the hair like this. This is how they made their jeans and their clothing. Everything made out of hay. There's Princess Gisela. What happened? The table to iron, to iron the clothes, bugle eisen. Not Ikea. <laughs> it is 100, 200, 300. A thousand years old. This is yes, wood. It's very nice. What is this, mom? This is for butter. Butter? Butter, yes. Liebe Mutter, give me lieber Butter, then mit Butter, liebe Mutter, komm ich weiter als mit Schmalz. What are you going to cook for us? No, uh, currywurst. Pommes. Currywurst, pommes, ketchup, mayo? Yes. All right, let's do it. Who knows who was standing where I'm standing right now so many years ago? I come actually from a family of Vikings. I would be a good Viking. My name would be Flake. All right, there's no elevator. We're heading up to the top of the tower here. Ah, Tucker. I 
I guess they were using bow and arrows and guns. And this is where I used to run around when I was a kid. I lived 15 minutes from here. It looks so nice and green. I think the people back then, they were shorter and smaller. Ooh. I mean, this is so tight. You can get really claustrophobic in here. This is the Kerker, the prison, where they put the people, if you don't behave, they threw down the food here. Wow, it is so sticky and hot in here. Whoa, how do they walk here with two people? There's, there's no way. This looks like ballroom dancing to me. Hey, look who's sitting down there. That's mom. Totally different life than Los Angeles when you're here. They have way bigger and nicer castles in Munich, but it's like five hours from here. I don't have the time right now. We'll see, maybe I can go somewhere else. You do not want to drop your phone here. Well, going downstairs is actually harder than going upstairs. And check this out. This was their toilet. They just had like a little hole on a piece of wood and it fell all the way down and then it went all the way in the water. I like the green on the bricks. I'm in the castle, in the middle of a castle. This is how they lived. Everybody had to do their job. I haven't been here for a long time. It's so nice to come back. These are some of the old tombstones they had. Look at all the copper stone in the small alleys here. And this is the sad part. This is my uncle's house. The one just passed away recently. He had his workshop in here. It's a really old house, but really nice. And this is where I spent a lot of time when I was a kid. I visited my uncle, he teach me how to fix shoes, how to make shoes. And this is all really old and I wanna show you something. I mean, this is the reason why I came here. I made this in 1978. I didn't know it's so emotional to be here. That was fixing the shoes here on the machine. My uncle teach me how to fix things, make shoes. I mean, I could work with leather. I made bags. I made all kinds of stuff. He was sitting always here. And I was sitting, I can't believe, that's exactly the same chair. This is an old Adler sewing machine where you can sew a letter together. And you have to actually move it with your foot right here. See, this is how it works. I can't believe even the noise, it's the same noise. Wow, that's just incredible to see all this. And you rough them up, the soles to glue the stuff on. 
You punch in the holes. Uh, everything is the same and all the nails, everything is still here. Yeah, just like yesterday, it's like, I don't know, 35 years ago, 40 years ago. When you put the soles on here, there's like pressure. So the glue will tighten it up really good. That machine made a lot of noise. That dog's name was Brenda Collie. That dog loved me. He only listened to me. I went walking around the, the castle almost every day. And that's him, that's my uncle. My mother's brother and another picture of him. How many times did he walk in and out those doors? It's one of the shoes he made. Him sitting here. And he also was a singer. That's the head he was wearing all the time. You're not allowed to change anything in those houses. They got like a placard there that's historical site. So they're only allowed to leave it the way it is. See, my mom knows some people here. Look at those buildings, it's like you live in Austria. I mean, for me, it would be too boring to live here. There's nothing going on. They're beautiful houses though. And you probably don't believe it. There's a place called Cafe Concours right here and I show you something. German and British. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That is a Oliver Funken. Hello. Look at this. He's supporting me with the sign I have in Venice. It says German in Venice. He's the owner of the place. So, so people that support me, I want to support as well. So if you're ever in Lynn, you got to stop by this place called Cafe Concours. Get yourself a coffee. He's the owner. Super nice guy. Come by and drink a coffee, beer, whatever you like. Oli is one of my fans and uh, he watches all my videos and today he invited me to come over to his place and he's the number one American fan. If you see what he got here, amazing. I mean, amazing. Thanks for showing me, man. You come up the stairs here. It's all lit with like LED lights. He got his own movie theater here. And for German standards, I don't, I don't know anybody who has a movie theater at his place. Look at this. So here he's watching all the American movies, Back to the Future. And look at all the posters. He got one of those fortune teller machine. You can play dart over here. Original American popcorn machine. You got a foosball table here. Germans love to play the foosball. And check this out. The billiard room. I really love those Coca-Cola signs, Jack Daniels. Look at this sign here. I don't know what how it is, but it's kind of like race, like metal. And then Elvis playing pool with James Dean and Marilyn. I always told you guys, I like those old, they call them spins here. Ta-ta! We got a poker room. And this is all in Lynn. See from the outside, it's an old house. I mean, when you walk, you can still hear the noise when you walk, but it's a movie theater. How cool is this? This door is over 400 years old. And look, you know who comes on a broom like this, right? But look at all this old wood here. I love stuff like this. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, what is that? Mr. Zadira? Mr. Zadira? Are you mad at me or what? Are you happy to see me? 
<laughs> Look, you got a bird here. Look, he got the palm trees here. Where did you get those palm trees from? Here at Lynn. Unbelievable. And he owns those two horses as well. So we see the horses from the back. He got a Wrangler Jeep. If he's not an American fan, I don't know who is. This is manure. You know who doesn't like manure? I always was lucky to get the manure. That was Biff in Back to the Future. And look, he got like a ein Stallier. That's where the horses stay at night. Nice. And you got American mailbox, original American mailbox. Pretty awesome. I got the same one. <laughs> he need a haircut just like me, man. <laughs> You really feel like you're in Texas here. <laughs> mom, what do you think? Nice? You like it? I like it. It's very okay, mom, nice. Why don't, why don't you go on the horse right now? Let's come on. Let, let me lift you up and you're going to ride the horse a little bit here. Have you ever seen a banana tree in Krefeld? There's one here. And this is his backyard. And this is all in Lynn, Krefeld. Palm trees. Look at all those beer caps. We go into the top and I have no idea what we're gonna see here. Check it out. We got Zolta here. He's gonna tell you the future. He's celebrating the Halloween parties up here. Yeah, this old wooden box here. Oh my goodness. Got one more here, hand painted. Got the rope to climb out the window. Every day you learn something new. You can buy actually palm tree like this for 1,500 euros. A little one like this. The bigger they are, of course, the more expensive they are. Are you mad, are you mad or are you okay? Huh? Well, I don't have any food. It's a baby pigeon right here and the ducky is watching the baby. Yeah, are you watching the baby? Okay. That's right. Okay. Did you know that duckies eat cucumbers? Let me check it out. What? You want a cucumber? Mmm. Mmm. Is that yummy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Hello. <laughs> you don't even know us. You're so happy. All the animals love each other. Well, my friends, that was it from beautiful Brooklyn here in Krefeld. I know the video was a little longer than normal, but I didn't know what to cut out. If you liked the video, give it a time up. Give it a thumb up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Push the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Tschüssing. Bye-bye.